hello everyone and welcome to another video of Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform featuring our partner ecosystem. And I am Dave Muir, Principal Solutions Architect at Red Hat. I focus on Red Hat Security ISV ecosystem and in this video I plan to demo an integration between Synopsys Black Duck and Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management. And this allows you to govern and secure your fleet of Kubernetes clusters by creating a Black Duck policy in advanced cluster management to ensure that Black Duck is deployed in all your clusters so it can automatically scan, identify, and monitor the open source and all container images deployed in all of your Red Hat OpenShift clusters. So in this short 10-minute video, I plan to give you a solution overview of Synopsys and Red Hat advanced cluster management for Kubernetes. I'll show a little bit of an architecture overview and then we'll get into a demo with Black Duck and Red Hat advanced cluster management. Now this demo focuses on Synopsys Black Duck's integration with Red Hat advanced cluster management. If you want to learn more and see a demo about the core concepts of the Black Duck integration with Red Hat OpenShift, then you'll want to check out the Synopsys Black Duck on Red Hat OpenShift YouTube video which you'll find on this very same channel, which of course is the Red Hat OpenShift YouTube channel. In that video, I discussed how Synopsys fits into the Red Hat's DevSecOps framework, and specifically the security methods that are integrated in the different points here on the DevOps lifecycle. As you can see, Synopsys complements Red Hat OpenShift as their technology addresses application analysis needs like static analysis, software composition analysis, interactive analysis, and dynamic analysis testing as well. I also dove into the Black Duck for OpenShift architecture and how Black Duck certified operator installs the Black Duck connector, and that's responsible for scanning container images to identify security, licensing, and operational risk and then retrieving the vulnerability and policy information from Black Duck to place on pods as labels and annotations. Again, if you want more detail on this specific integration, then please do view that Synopsys Black Duck on Red Hat OpenShift YouTube video. It's only about 10 minutes, just like this one. Now for this video, imagine you had a fleet of more than one cluster, either on-prem or in the cloud. Maybe you have a combination of both. Well, deploying the Black Duck operator and connector is, is very straightforward on one cluster. But let's say you had five or 10 or 100 clusters, that task starts to become a bit redundant and you can waste a lot of your time. Plus, what if you wanted to know the deployment status of the operator or if any running images were in violation of a Black Duck policy? I don't think you'd want to go to each 100 clusters and look at every single pod in the labels. And so this is exactly what Red Hat Cluster Management and the Synopsys Black Duck integration do for you. With a pretty straightforward YAML policy, you can ensure that the Black Duck operator and connectors are deployed in every cluster under management, and you can see a centralized view of which clusters have images that fail Black Duck policy. Now this capability is part of the governance risk and compliance feature with advanced cluster management for Kubernetes, which allows you to centrally set and enforce policies for security applications and infrastructure. It also allows you to prevent unintentional or malicious configuration drift. There's three other major capabilities within advanced cluster management. They are cluster lifecycle, which I always say is the crud for clusters. It allows you to create, update, delete Kubernetes clusters across multiple private or public clouds. Then there's application lifecycle, which allows you to easily deploy an application, as well as visualize those applications and their relationships across clusters. And then you have end-to-end -end visibility, which allows you to view system alerts, critical application metrics, and overall system health. Okay, so if I jump over to Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, the first thing I want to do is create a new project. We'll call it Synopsys Black Duck. This is where the Black Duck connector is going to be installed in through the policy that is governed by Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management. Now if I go over to 
Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes. You can see the four capabilities that I talked about previously. And in this case, we're going to go to Governance and Risk. You can see no policies are created at the moment. So I'm going to click Create Policy. And what you'll want to do now is head on over to GitHub to the open-cluster-management repo and go to the policy-collection, community, and SI system and information integrity folder. And there you'll find the Black Duck for OpenShift policy. Now you can copy and paste that. But there's a couple modifications you need to make. And so I'll point that out here. Copy and paste my version. You can sort of see when I copied that in, some of the fields here were filled out. If I go up to the top of the YAML, there's three different policy checks that this YAML describes. The first one is that the Black Duck operator is installed on all the clusters you want it to be installed on. The second object definition, the second policy that's enforced is that the Black Duck connector is installed. And one of the things you will want to do here is specify which namespace you want this installed in. As you saw, I created synopsis-blackduck earlier. And then you'll need to specify the URL and credentials for the Blackduck server that you want the scan results to go to. So in this case, I'm going to redhathub.blackducksoftware.com. And so the third policy is all about ensuring that your pods have been scanned by Black Duck and that there are no vulnerabilities. If we take a look at this object template, you can see it's a compliance type of must have and a label on the pod that says not in violation. If you remember the integration details with Black Duck for OpenShift, it labels pods based on the number of vulnerabilities and the number of policy violations that occur after a scan. So in this case, if this policy does not find this label and, and the value of this label is not in violation, that means two things. One, the pod either has vulnerabilities or two, if the label doesn't exist, the container image hasn't been scanned yet. So if we take a look at the form, everything is filled out for me. I'm going to leave enforce if supported checked because once I create this policy, it'll then begin to build the OpenShift objects like the Black Duck operator and the Black Duck for OpenShift deployment. So I'll click Create. That's going to redirect me to the Governance and Risk page. And I'll click Policy Black Duck. You can see it's not compliant right now because it didn't find the operator, nor did it find the Black Duck for OpenShift deployment. But if we go over to the cluster and take a look at the operators that are being created, you can see the Black Duck operator just installed a few seconds ago, and that has succeeded. So if we go back to the status of our policy Black Duck, you'll see that the Black Duck operator is compliant as well as the Black Duck connector is now compliant also because it must have installed the Black Duck connector. Let's take a look to see if that exists now. We go to Synopsis Black Duck and go to Workloads, Pods, and there's the Black Duck for OpenShift integration with its four pods. Now let's see the scanner in action. One thing I forgot to point out, if we go back to the policy and look at the YAML, and we jump down a little bit on the second definition, you can see this pod processor node where it has a namespace filter that's looking at Synopsys demo. So what this is telling the Black Duck connector to do is to only scan images that are in that namespace. So let me create that namespace.
Now what I want to do with Synopsys Demo is add an application. So I'll go ahead and import some YAML here. This is just a simple image called Ducky CRM that does have some vulnerabilities. So when I go ahead and create it, that will start to build out the pod. Once a pod creation event occurs, Black Duck for OpenShift grabs that event from the Kubernetes API and gets a handle to the image, downloads the image into a tar file and scans the tar file and sends the results to the Black Duck server. The integration then communicates with the server to get data to send back into the pod in the form of labels. So if we scroll down here, momentarily we should see some labels that are specific to Black Duck, like the ones that just popped up right now. So you can see that we've got 56 vulnerabilities. These are high vulnerabilities, higher critical. And the overall status is in violation. If you remember in the Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management Policy, in the YAML, we specified that that label needs to be not in violation. And of course, that's why we're still not compliant here with this cluster, because those labels are in violation. Okay, and if we wanted to just see the results in Black Duck itself, you would head on over to your Black Duck server and log in, and then you can easily find Ducky CRM by filtering by project. You can go into the project itself. And you'll notice 26 plus 30 is 56. Those are the 56 high and critical vulnerabilities that were. Drum roll, please. Added to the label back here in OpenShift in the pod. Now, isn't that cool? Now, what's even more cool is that this integration was all deployed and it's now managed through Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management. And as we saw with a pretty simple YAML, we're now able to deploy both the Black Duck operator and the Black Duck connector on n number of clusters, regardless of their location. We're also able to centrally view which clusters have either not been scanned by Black Duck or in a violation of a Black Duck policy. All right, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this demo of the Synopsys Black Duck integration with Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management and how you can govern and secure your fleet of clusters. To learn more, please head on over to redhat.com or the software integrity pages at synopsis.com. Have a great day, y'all.